Hey guys, so today we'll be doing a draw this in your own style uh, challenge that I saw on Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, no real background in art. I draw here and there. Um, just something I enjoy doing. So I think I'll start off by kind of explaining the tools that I have. Um, and then on the screen, I'm trying to figure out where everything is. On the screen is the drawing we'll be trying to replicate in our style. Um, so I'm working on a iPad 12.9 um, with this, I'm trying to remember what the case is, but it's kind of a drawing case that has a stand, so it's at an angle. I got Apple Pencil, uh, 2, version 2, and a little light here, right, and a little background, so not a whole lot to it. Working on a mic. Uh, let's see. That might be a better shot there. You can kind of see what I'm doing while you look at the screen. So, first thing I'll do is lower the opacity on this, make it a little easier to work with. Um, and I always like choosing kind of a light blue as the kind of sketching color. Um, let's try this guy. Yeah, that'll work. Let that erase a little bigger. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so let's see. I mean, it's kind of a basic thing. If I'm not copying the style that it's in, it's really just drawing a guy with just kind of crown design um, you know we'll, we'll keep the, the square eyes there uh, I'll keep the suit kind of thing going so uh, and I'm only circling kind of the elements that I'm gonna keep so I'm not this isn't my drawing here so I'll keep that kind of a whoosh here Really, everything else can be done in my style. Not entirely sure what this guy is. Um, I'm entirely sure what this is. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention using Procreate as well. So I'm not entirely sure what this guy is. Uh, and because I'm not too sure what it is, I'm just going to keep it. I mean, I think this is the Discord, right? It looks kind of like the Discord symbol. Uh, just because I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, whether it's a speech bubble or just a discord symbol we're just going to redraw that as well so those are kind of the elements and you know what i'll make another layer it's just kind of showing the elements that i'm going to keep for a reminder uh, let's call this a sketch all right one second guys And we'll keep using this color, so. Let's see, I mean, he's kind of jovial. Let's kind of make a simple, uh, simple head here. We'll kind of make it right here, kind of that size. Um, so this is more cartoony, and that's why it's stylized like this. But I'm going to keep kind of the, kind of the shape of it. And kind of round it out so it's a little more realistic, right? But something like this. Or, sorry. There we go. Something like that. And kind of the ear here. Kind of right there. And we want to keep kind of a, a rectangular eyes. I'm going to add a nose. Alright. Something like that. And he's kind of a happy guy, right? So let's kind of make it a, a smile going on there. And then just once I get the coloring, I'm going to have kind of a shadow like they have there. Kind of split it. Maybe a little bit of a 
Okay, right there. Can I fix the ears? I'm not very good at ears, guys. So. It's kind of there's like a mullet thing going on. So kind of something like that. I don't want to connect these two portions. Kind of make it a its own little thing right there. Something like that, right? Kind of keep the shadow thing going on here. So I, I kind of feel like I'm making kind of a classic anime style uh, shimmer, which is almost a straight line. Kind of like that. You know, we'll use kind of this as the part, right? Something like that. And uh, kind of have some backward kind of bangs here, give it a little more style, right? All right, hold on. So you trying to be like this, and I think I may have to resize it a little bit. Because I won't be able to fit the whole body in there. Yeah, let's see if we can change the canvas a little bit. Copy and resize. Settings. Um, yeah, let's make it a square. Since this is for Instagram, it helps to kind of have it as a square. Let's do that. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Let's move this guy a little bit. Back up. Um, I don't need to keep that right there. Oh. Raise these lines here. Um, kind of my guidelines here. this guy up a little bit. That should be good. And we'll kind of see if, if we're going to drop back down. Just one second, guys. A lot of juice here. <clears throat> Alright. It's kind of neck. Kind of like drawing a guideline that's kind of like a like a cylinder, something like that. And uh, he looks kind of young, so we're not going to add a um, too big of a Adam's apple here. But we'll, we'll add a little bit, just kind of something like that. Let's go ahead and kind of erase that. That's kind of what I want, kind of a long, not very muscular type of thing. Um, And then I'm not too sure if this is like a hairpin or if it's kind of a cartoon stylized crown. Um, I'm going to take a little creative liberty and see if I can kind of just make a crown up here. Right? Um, I've never really drawn a crown. So bear with me, guys. Nope. A little big there. It's fine for sketching. Something like this. It's one of those things where, like, if I was actually trying to take my time and draw it, I might look up an image of a crown. Just kind of going off and it's kind of starting to look like a, uh, a 10 gallon hat or something. Something maybe. Maybe we'll keep kind of the stylized crown look. Just make it a little bigger. And kind of. Kind of like this. It's not too bad, right? We'll give him a nice little gem here too. Let's 
kind of like a, a girlfriend loves uh, what's that show called Steven Universe so we'll kind of pretend that this is a homage to that what is that an emerald or a ruby I don't know if that's in the show or not really haven't gotten that far what is that some little little designs we'll try and fix the spacing when we get to inking maybe even the coloring phase we have a little bit of a line here a little bit of a line here maybe some kind of like a glimmer going on there there we go all right you know maybe maybe we'll try and blend sort of a cartoon with this anime kind of style where it's so kind of cartoony eyes it doesn't look too creepy let me draw a little background out on it all right so next we'll kind of do a make this a little a little bit bigger not the best call I've ever drawn but that's kind of what this series is is just us learning together you guys can learn through my mistakes or maybe get inspired from this and I learn how to draw through practice since I don't really have the skill set We'll kind of make it small, more of a business tie, right? We got a little bit of texture in there. And you know what? We got, oh shoot. We got kind of a circle here, circle here, circle here, circle here. And I try to Try to keep it with torsos kind of like that. Um, I don't think we're still going to make it, but that's fine. Well, I don't have to copy it exactly right. So if the legs don't show up, the legs don't show up. And we'll kind of ride off of where the collar is. And he kind of, kind of gives me like a young businessman vibe. He's still kind of, optimistic you know when I first got in office uh, I was the same way and then over time uh, you kind of learn not to uh, yeah <laughs> kind of learn to just deal with it day by day right so let's get a little bit further I kind of want to have the elbows around here maybe inward uh, that wouldn't be that good of a pose what, what about about having something like this and then this guy kind of just drooping uh, we'll try to kind of have the body there we're not really going to get the feet in on this one a little skinnier than that right thinking something like this you know because uh kind of curves are used a lot more for feminine characters um, and in this case it's not that he's feminine per se but it's more of a uh, a younger boyish look, right? It's it's less refined, less muscular, less uh, um, action hero, basically. So we'll kind of have him have these nice little curves. We'll, we'll kind of reach here, a little bit kind of there, and uh, erase a little bit of that to get it out the way. Now, if any of you guys are actually actual artists, you're probably looking at this and seeing a whole bunch of uh, taboos and not to do's when you're drawing that I'm doing, but let's call it artistic direction. And uh, we'll kind of have a, you know, one thing I do want to learn in 
if you guys have any tips, it'd be awesome. It's how to draw kind of uh, closed lines, right? Like, I kind of just draw kind of random lines. But I'm never good at figuring out where it would fold or anything like that. Um, and it just occurred to me that I have not actually drawn a suit jacket. Something like that, right? And all, uh, all the suits that I've kind of owned or seen are two, two buttoned. So we'll kind of have some, a little bit of a variation here. And then uh, this is one of those things where I kind of have to have one in front of me. But I think it kind of has like a, like a cut where it kind of comes out. And we'll have him kind of unbuttoned. Try to match kind of the shape that he's got. And kind of here, we make this a little, a little more squarish. Kind of an outside line here. We'll have a few buttons there. If he was more of a professor, I think maybe that would make more sense having kind of a a patch there. But I, I don't really see that style a lot, so I'll probably erase that. He's, he's kind of looking more like Mr. Rogers here, you know. And yeah, I think that's what it is. Is that it's maybe not coming out enough. It kind of that's what it is, right? And, I, and they kind of have a here is where it droops. Downward, so you can tuck it in. Right. So we'll try that. Um, we kind of have it open toward the bottom, right? Kind of here. Kind of have a belt going on. I don't want to get too stuck in the details when I'm sketching, but and we'll try and add some more. What kind of wrinkles here and there so it doesn't look as kind of flat. You know what, maybe I'll do in some of these um, episodes is kind of look through all of these and try and make a drawing from a, a tool. So maybe I'll look at the spray paint and say, okay, I got to make a drawing where I have to use this guy, right? Um, but for now, let's just stick to kind of the basics. So let's go back to, you know what, I kind of like that. I kind of have it like that. I kind of want to change it here. And that's more of a clean cut. I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be too far from the edge. Something like that. You know, I'm going to clean up a little bit of this because once I get to inking, and I lower the opacity, makes it a little harder. You know, having a whole bunch of random lines. I've noticed though, I kind of like how the sketch lines look. Like I like the end result, right? But there's something about the sketch lines that just gives it some kind of character. Um, but you know, and Blink One Eighty Two. If you guys just felt like shouting them out for a second, I notice you can't really see the background from here. I got a oh, it's flipped. I got a little like projector over there, trying to do a background, and maybe I'll use it for different series where we're not having to look at the kind of the iPad. <clears throat> okay. So 
So the belt is kind of right there. I kind of have his legs like that. Kind of want this straighter. Uh, maybe not straighter, but kind of shaped. Hmm. Looks okay, it's not really great. Kind of a, a pocket. A little zipper, of course. This makes it look kind of like jeans, though, but maybe we'll do the line straight down. Kind of like. <clears throat> kind of like suits do. You know what it is, is I think this guy goes down too low. Maybe that's what's kind of giving it a Mr. Rogers type of vibe. So maybe I'll do kind of higher up, make these guys a little higher. I think that looks a little better. It still looks a little... Add some details there. Here comes the moment of truth, right? Is the damn hands. Uh, thumbs go inward, right? Kind of embarrassing that I have to do that. I'm no good in hands, guys. So you can clearly see here. And then the pinky's a little lower. I'm kind of do, do like that, kind of cartoony style, I guess. Not very good. I'm going to use my hand as reference here. I'll we'll be looking at this, kind of flipped. This one I may have to uh, I'll use a guide. We'll kind of keep the same, kind of the same style. You know what? This guy should be bigger. We'll kind of bend these guys in a little. That's not good. Maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out during the inking stage, I think. I'll put it off. <clears throat> That's kind of a simple, simple thing. Let's try and draw that little guy. Give kind of a, a little bit more of a character design there. Maybe have him have a little crown. I'm trying to think of like how those crowns look. They are more kind of like this. We'll give him a top hat. How about that? Do we want a background? No. You know what? What we'll do is we'll just uh, paint kind of a random design in the background. Um, since we don't want to put too much time on this guy. So 
so I don't think I need that guy anymore. Uh, here's where we'll do some inking. I like it a little rougher, so I, I changed some of the settings so it grabs less, but it still grabs. And that, I think, gives a little more life to the lines. And this guy will do black. Put this down somewhere right there. Call this ink. Where do we want to start? Let's start at the. I'll start with something easy. Putting a little too much pressure on my hand here, but yeah, I gotta do this quicker. I like that. Oh. And we'll use this guy to kind of clean up the line a little bit. For sure, get rid of that guy. We'll leave it like that for now. <clears throat> I'd rather learn how to draw lines well the first time. I've found that the racing around it kind of works. I kind of treat it like it's pushing down on his head. Um, totally not because I messed up that line. I'm gonna get at least the top part right, and then I can erase the other side. Better. There we go, not too bad. I looked. Figure out how to make that top hat better. The only problem with this is it looks like this is the inside. But that's fine. You know what? No, it's not. I think I know how to do it. I'll do this part first. Uh, kind of have that guy coming in.
Can make this guy a little better. There we go. A lot better, right? Could cheat and uh, clear. I'll do that. Let me merge down and now they're together. And I always have uh, a little bit of trouble with this. Do I do the, uh, the hair or the face first? But <clears throat> We'll do the face first and then we'll erase line you know what i'll do i'll do a different layer for the hair that way i can erase the overlapping without touching the other layer so we'll kind of do that shape right there you know what this is i need to choose a hard See, that'll make it a lot cleaner. I don't particularly like how this meets. The lines are a little different width. So maybe we'll do kind of like that. Oh. That'll be fine. You gotta remember, this is gonna be an Instagram post, so it's gonna be not as zoomed in. So now here, I kind of don't like how simple the eyebrows are. I'm gonna keep them simple. Kind of like that. Off a little too much there. There we go. We'll color them in later. A little too big. Kind of like that, right? And let's see, kind of. What it would look like having pupils. That gives them a little more of a boyish, boyish look, right? Hmm. Let's try again. That's good right there, I think. Looks better without those lines. Give him a little bit of a mustache. <laughs> no. Okay. So I think maybe a little bit a dimple. Be more like right there. There we go. It's not too bad. Kind of don't like the nose now. Mm 
It's a little better. We'll erase that line if it doesn't look too good after. Let's start kind of the neckline. We want that to overlap. All race. Kind of, kind of got like a cardboard, cardboard look to his collar, doesn't he? There we go. That's good enough for now. Now what we'll do is add a different layer for hair. And what that'll let me do is kind of draw like that and then let me erase from this layer <clears throat> make it a little easier on us you know what though <clears throat> just got the ear do kind of a down slope here, kind of a cartoony here. Kind of like that. Kind of fix how much that droops. Maybe make that lower actually. <clears throat> Go up a little higher. That's fine. We've got plenty of forward here, right? We kind of want to have like a this is my own kind of style on it. I like that. Maybe round this off a little more. I like that. There we go. No. Kind of going upward. And fine line there. We'll kind of do some motion lines. Oh, it's more like that. That's decent, right? <clears throat> now it's more of a stylistic thing. Do we want to leave these? over and kind of erase the hair or do we want to erase the face we'll try both so if we were to erase the face it would look kind of like i think that looks a lot better actually yeah i'm not even gonna try just erasing the hair i think that looks good i like that And then just to shoot back at the guy. Yeah, 
was good. Unmerse that down. We'll do this one for a crown and do the same process. So. We want to kind of have this guy kind of like that. Straight lines. And then a little kind of It's far, you won't be able to notice from far away. And just to show that it's not part of the design, what I like doing is drawing outside of it so I'm making sure at least part of that glimmer is outside and then just for when you're coloring it helps a lot if you make sure no lines are left out or I'm sorry uh, no lines are not We'll do, and it's fine if the lines are actually kind of chunky here. I think it adds to the, the gem aspect of this. You know, these line, these, uh, glimmers should probably been over the gem, but I think it'll be fine. I don't know how some people draw circles so perfectly. Lines are kind of ugly. Yeah, I'm hoping through doing this it'll actually <clears throat> kind of help me improve. I'm sure some of you guys will have a lot to say about how it looks. And I'm welcome to that. I don't mind the uh, criticism as long as you try to make it constructive, though. I've been on the inter internet long enough to know that that's sometimes a big ass for some people, but that's fine. What was I doing here? I think that's good. Make a circle here, kind of make it thick.
And for clothes, I just like kind of doing kind of less regulated uh, lines where it feels more free flowing, I guess. Where it's fine if it's not straight, because no matter how much you iron these clothes, man, they, they're never going to be straight, straight, right? We'll do kind of a buttons here. We'll do some kind of some lines there. Definitely some lines here. Hands go last, man. For sure. You know, we'll do some deeper lines here. <clears throat> I've seen a whole lot of people draw on uh, YouTube and, and Discord and other kind of streaming services. I don't know how they do it. I'll just be like, I'm going to draw a dragon. And then all of a sudden, they got a dragon. Alright. Like maybe having this a little bit further out. Kind of forgot to. Add some of these lines here. I didn't really like that patch, so I'm not going to add it. Maybe kind of have a something like that. And here I'm showing that I have zero understanding of how belt buckles look. Even though I wear one like every day. I will keep that. A little bit of a... Kind of messed up there because it's usually aligned, right? <clears throat> Bow buckles are supposed to line up with the, the seam. But that's okay. Let's see how it's looking without the sketch. Decent, decent. Actually, I forgot to do racing here. can merge these now. There we go. Sorry, I'm really having to uh, 
pay attention here since they're no good at hands. I think the hand is probably going to be what <clears throat> makes this look bad. Also, I got to get a better chair. A little bit short. We'll cheat like that, right? We'll pretend it's longer, but it's hidden. All right, well. That leads just to coloring. And what I'll do here is, what I like doing is actually using like using the actual colors of the uh, original drawing. <clears throat> Color should go under. Oh, shit. You know what, I'll leave it in here, get this guy out. I'll call this color. We'll have a couple layers ready. So I like doing the, the biggest color first. Now let's actually just grab that color directly from him. And since we did our line work pretty good, I think we'll be able to just drag in, maybe not. You know what it is, I need to, uh, hold on. There is a way to like set this as a reference. I think that's what it is. Let's try again. Yep. So it looks like we didn't completely finish it, but you know what? It'll be easier just to erase. Like that. Actually, this doesn't need to be colored the same. We'll do that. Let's do the same for the other side. Pretty good, actually. Again, this kind of looks like a like a sweater, unfortunately. But chalk it up to inexperience, I guess. Um, we'll use the actual that bluish right there. Ah, come on. Use that color, it should be slightly different. Let's try it out. Yeah, but we'll actually do it by hand in this one. Airbrush, we'll use a hard airbrush. Um, Now it's important to remember, and I learned this the hard way, right, is to pick your pencil up a lot. Because if you don't, and you slightly, let's say, I drew all of this and then oh, I mess up, now you gotta undo the whole thing. But if I go like this and then like that, right, only messes up a little bit.
Now there's a lot of methods for coloring in. This is just uh, there's not a whole lot to do. That's why I'm not too worried about having to hand fill it in. Now since the original drawing doesn't really have a color for buttons or anything like that, at least I don't think so. Nope. We'll just do it. We'll use our own. I might make a series after I do enough of these drawing ones into like creating a uh, a manga from scratch and people or a comic from scratch and people in the comments can kind of guide the design and the um, story. You know, I'll end up choosing in the end, but I'll take everybody's consideration pretty heavily. I almost feel like this should be that color. Not bad. Yeah, I think I'll keep it. <clears throat> we'll use this yellow for the button, actually. Yeah. Let's use that for the, uh, the buttons. the belt, belt buckle the same color make that a little smaller it's probably a good idea to keep your colors on separate layers but I'm not too worried about doing too many effects or anything all right now the crown We'll do kind of a brown for this guy. Same for the belt. Maybe even the top hat, actually. Simple little top hat. <clears throat> Now, I'm just going to use this kind of blondish color for the hair. There we go, that's not too bad. Pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, same for the eyebrows. It's kind of, it's almost like a maroon red. I'm trying to think of what color the shirt should be. I think maybe a light blue would be nice. So let's go here, let's make it a little lighter, maybe even a little whiter, kind of like that. Let's check that out. Yeah, I think that's a, a decent color.
I always make it small around the corners. It's kind of common sense, right? But in case anybody's wondering why. Uh, and then we'll darken it. What kind of the ends? Eh, it's too dark. Oh. It's slightly darker. Kind of like that. And this is part of the shirt right there. That's part of the shirt right there. And that's part of the shirt right there. Uh, we'll kind of use this. Well, it's a little too close. We'll, we'll use our own color there. I feel like, I, I think I might have some palettes for the skin. No, I guess not. We'll give them a little bit of a yellow hue. Let's try that guy out. It's too yellow. A little warmer. That's not bad. We'll use that guy. Shadows, uh, there's a whole, I'm not going to do the long shadows, which is <clears throat> recoloring for like specific colors. I'm going to do a simple layer with black and opacity down and maybe the one of the overlay effects. Um, and, and that's it. It'll recolor all of the colors at once in one go. Too hard. Damn it. Where even is the open on this guy? Maybe right there? That's awfully small to be considered open, but I guess that's what it was. <clears throat> and usually these guys are, are cut from the same cloth and actually I need that orange for the well that guy which I didn't even see but I also need it for the uh, buttons Hmm. I'll make my own color for let's do close to that. Let's try that guy. I feel like kind of gray blue, isn't it? Let's try red. There we go. What the hell's that? At least we didn't need these layers, huh? I don't know what the. Oh, you know what? When I uh, when I selected the eyes and moved them and copied it, I copied like a small bit of the line. Fine, we'll fix it. Well, it looks like we're an hour in and I'm still coloring. 
I haven't decided yet. I probably should have decided before, huh? But I haven't decided during this video while I'm recording whether I'm gonna leave the entire video in or if I'm gonna edit it. Nobody wants to watch like a 10 hour video, right? Actually, I quite like this color, maybe brighten it a little bit for the ruby. That's good. I'll use the red for these because I've already used the, uh, the orange on the crown. And these guys are going to be bright yellow. Black goes there. Uh, pink tones. Where are you? I'll go there. Wonder what his eyes would look like pink. Nah. Make him kind of blue. Let's do a very light blue for those right there. Now white. When if you're gonna do a background, you can't leave these transparent. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do actually is change the background color to like that. Go back to my color. Oh accidentally drew some other colors on the ink well that would I would go back and change it if I was going to use this for anything else but since we're okay right now this is I'm not going to redraw it or anything um, this is fine <clears throat> so actually I notice right there I mean this is good for checking stuff right so we'll go to white Color in the parts that should be white. Actually, you know what? His eyes would be what better white. We'll leave it like that. <clears throat> okay. Let's go back to white on this guy. Gray, slightly gray, I guess. We don't need that guy showing. We'll just call this random background. This is not going to be good by any means. I really just want to this is random, random stuff in the back, just so it doesn't look so plain. Basically, let's use a color we're not really using, which is green. It's kind of like that green. I right, will do something kind of like that. Let's use. How the f what do the flames look like? That's pretty cool. We're too stylistic. Let's do a old scheme. That's actually kind of cool. Let's do a different shade of green. Let's make it big. Not really anything special, but it gives it a little more, it pops out a little bit, right? And then what I'll do actually is do kind of a Gaussian blur on the layer. Maybe it doesn't work as well because it's, let's try motion blur. Just a little bit. That way, 
this looks a lot more popped out and I might actually even change the uh, what's halftone oh now that's cool you know what let's do halftone let's do uh That's pretty dope, actually. I didn't know that effect existed in this. I'm going to use that a lot more in the future, I think. Um, I want to change the saturation on this guy. Make it a little less saturated. A little darker, a little less saturated. Actually, a little brighter. That's fine. We'll just we'll leave it like that. I kind of want to do a blur again though. So it takes a little bit too much away. What's glitch? That's kind of cool. <laughs> Ooh, bless me. That looks kind of dope. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. We'll do that, and then we'll do a uh, perspective blur. There we go. Now the, the focus isn't so much in the background, even though there's a bunch of weird stuff going on. Alright, so we'll, we'll hide it for now. Now what we're going to do is add shadows. And actually... Something I want to do is this white make that bigger. I forgot I was going to do this earlier. That's something like that. Make it a little smaller. Yep. So we'll do something like that. We'll, we'll erase outside of the lines. Color the the ear back in. I don't know. I, I just like that look. It's like glossy. All right, so now we'll add a layer. We'll use black. And for now, we'll do just super low opacity. Like 10%. Hard airbrush. Let's make that a little bigger. Something like that. You know what? <clears throat> I really forget how to do the alpha lock. Um, there we go. Clipping mask, that's what it is. And that lets you <clears throat> basically only draw on the color. So I can't draw out here. Basically it lets you draw only on the stuff that's on the la on the bottom layer. Which I think is pretty cool. And just a little bit of shadow doesn't even have to be like well done. Adds so much, uh, so much. You see that like the hand looks so much better, and, and I by no means drew those shadows well. So just remember that. Just add a little bit of shadows. It'll make your drawing go a thousand times better, or look a thousand times better. You know, and I try to make sense where my shadows are, but sometimes I'm just like, eh, this looks right, you know what I mean? So, some days I'll actually sit there and like play around with lights and be like, alright, how would this look? But other times I'm just like, whatever, man, this looks fine.
So definitely out there, definitely here, definitely kind of like that, and a little more for this side. And I kind of did like the, kind of did like how this was kind of like the whole face was shadowed. Let's see how it looks now. It's not bad. Actually, I kind of like shadows inside of the eye. A little shadow there. I think that was on the different layer, actually. Oh, what is that? I knew I messed something up. Oh, not a color. It's a ink. Oh, no. There we go. Actually, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I guess it doesn't show since it's clipping it, but if you kind of look in there, it's like taking the shape of it. Oh, right, black. And these guys are kind of like doing the where I drew the lines, but no, oh, not there. Where I kind of drew the lines, but also kind of where uh, I also like kind of doing it um, coming out of the tips. There's probably no real reason to do that, but. I think it looks kind of cool. I rush and be causing shadows. <laughs> I do in my world. Definitely inside here. Be a little under. Kind of like that. Definitely a good bit around here, actually. We'll do, just to cover up that mistake, we'll do kind of like this. Maybe even a little higher. Nope, too high. It looks kind of cool there. I almost want to draw like around the glimmer. Let's see how that looks. It's a little weird. I don't know how I like it. Maybe if I go like this. Uh, I think that's on a different layer as well. Yep. That blows. That too? Seriously? Oh, it shouldn't be. What am I doing wrong? Was I in a race? Yep.
And I still don't know how I feel about this background. Hmm. Let's do a stronger blur. Well, I don't like the background too much, but there you go, guys. Draw it in your own style for comparison. I uh, seem to have done something weird here. There we go. For comparison, there's the uh, original. And here's my style of it. So, Thanks, guys. Uh, if you like this, like and subscribe. Uh, catch you next time.